here's a question I get quite a bit. How do I make a nice point group that represents ticks with a northing and easting label on it? So well, let's do this first. Let's make a few points. I'm going to go in here and just create a few manual points. This one here, I'm going to call this one here a tick mark. And it doesn't need an elevation because it only needs the X and Y. I'm going to put one here, hit enter or call it a tick as well. No elevation there, and one there. I have four ticks now in this in this surface. I want them to display the northing and the easting of their current position. And we can look over here in the grid and see that their northings and eastings are set to something. I want to have that reflected as their label. So to do that, let's go over here to the point groups. We'll make a new point group. Call this one here tick. For the style, I want it to be a plus symbol. Let's go here and make a new one. Let's create a new tick style. I want this just to be a simple plus marker. So that way it lines up with the northing and the easting. The center will be where that northing and easting will be. So I'm going to set that. I'm going to go over here to information and call this one here tick center. Say so, okay, tick center becomes my point style. And now for the label style, if you look in here, I've got a whole bunch. And I have a northing and easting, but it doesn't really look the way I want it to look. It looks like this. That's not exactly what I want to go with. So let's just make a brand new one. I'm just going to go over here and say, create a new style. This style here, I want this one here to be northing and easting. There we go. Give it a nice name. Then over here in the general, and then here for layout, this is where I want to make this is where I want to make some changes in the layout. So right now it has point number, elevation, description. I don't want any of those. So I'm just gonna go in here, hit the X handful of times. Oops, that one, there's the anchor component. But I don't need it either. Now I want to add a component name. Now I can see that I've wiped out my label. I want to add a piece to the layout of this. It's going to be text-based. So I click on text. It gives me text 1. Here's a name. I'm going to call this one here Northern. I want it to be true. I want it to be anchored to the feature. And I want the anchor point to be... I'll make the anchor point the middle center. That way it sits right there on the X. And for the label text, what I want this to say is I want it to be the northing. So I'm going to go in here and wipe that out, just delete it. For point number, or for the label, I want it to be the northing. And I want its precision to be just two places. Um, actually, no, I don't. I want its precision to be the one, actually right on the money. I want this precision to be one. Uh, around normal, foot, all that's good. Go in here, but I want this to be labeled, so I'm just going to hit the left arrow key, put in a capital N, a space, a dash, and then a space, so that way it'll give me an N dash and then the number. I'll say OK. And I want it to be offset a little bit to the right, so let's go over here and set the X offset to like 0.12. Not enough. How about 0.25? Closer. Oh, before doing that, I want the attachment to be the middle left. There we go. It forces the whole text out. Now I can go back and give it an offset of 0.12. Now I've got a northing pointing out to the right. Let's build an easting. So let's go here and add another piece of text. This next text, I'm going to call this one easting. The anchor component will be feature. I want it to be middle center, and I want it to be left middle there we go middle left so it pushes it out there but this one I want the rotation angle to be 90 degrees I want that guy pointing straight up and that means I gotta give it a Y offset of 0.125 there we go now you can see that label's put up there if I go here and change its contents I'm gonna wipe out the word label text I'm gonna hunt down here for easting I'm gonna set its precision down to 1 click the arrow to put it in there 
and do the same thing I did on the previous one. Left arrow key, put in a capital E, a space, a hyphen, and a space. Now it'll be easting, give me a number. Now I can see it'll be easting with a number, northing with a number. Let's check out my label style, see how it's looking. I got tick center, I got northing and easting. Let's say OK and see what we got. All right, right now nobody shows up because tick is currently controlling these. But if you notice over here, my tick no longer has anybody home and he's at the top. So what I need to do is make sure that tick gets into this point group. So I need to go here and to include it with the route description matching. T-I-C-K. I can check my point list. I see my, my four ticks fall in there. I say OK. There we go. Now I've got a northing number and an easting number. Not too shabby. Now all i got to do is put them at positions that would like be rounded numbers because right now they're at some sort of oddball number. And the easiest way to do that is just highlight one of these. Go to the properties of that point. So this is the AutoCAD properties. And what I like to do is just go in here and round these numbers for the easting and the northing of it down to the nicest next zero number that will kind of set them in a nice clean spot see how that's looking looks pretty good but right now I can see that it's not wiping out my text or wiping out the uh, contour line behind it I would like it to do that as well as it doesn't look too bad yeah I'd like it to wipe out the contours behind it so now if I go back here to tick, I can go back here to tick point group properties. I can find my northing and easting tick. Let's edit that guy. Now in here I go to the layout tab. That's where I was last. All I need to do is set the background mask to true. But I need to set it for both pieces. So I go here to my easting. Go down here and set this background mask to true. And now it disappears in here because this is the way Sybil does sometimes. But my two guys should be there. The, even though the preview puts the darn background mask on top. That's irritating. We'll say OK. Say OK again. And now if you look, wherever my labels are, they're covering up my contours nicely. Which looks more like my little labels. There we go. I'm on my way to look, getting some a nice looking thing.